see yourself five years from now? I see myself at your position taking your interview. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, this was the answer and this should be an answer in every interview. Please know, you would never be selected, you would never be even asked to sit for another minute. I have been blessed to go through a tremendous experience of 28 interviews before I landed on my first job on my 29th interview. Now you must be thinking that I'm some sort of a genius. Yes, because I have created a lot of data and I've done a lot of analytics on what exactly not has to be done in an interview. So in my great research and handling of all those books and handbooks and guidelines, I came up with the three top things that you should never do in an interview. Number one is a kind of a person who is called yes woman or a yes man. This kind of a person you would notice would say yes to everything that an interviewer would ask. Yes, of course, you are right, exactly. These are the answers. When I would go home, my parents would ask me how was the interview and I would say amazing, I nailed it, yes you are right, I am getting this job. Apparently, I got more marriage proposals than the job. I was a better candidate for being a Pakistani housewife rather than working. Didn't work. The second kind of person who would not get selected is the one who is called, I would say, bulldozer. Kindly do not go on my size. I am speaking about the words. Bulldozer is the person who is just filled up with a lot of words when you ask them a question. So let's see here. Era, where are you originally from? <coughs> my name is Iram Rizvi. I'm 18 years old and I'm actually born in Rotterdam in Dubai. My mother is actually originally from Lucknow, but she was born in Pakistan. My dad is originally from Lippi Badaras, but he was born in Pakistan. However, 180 years before we were from Iran, Mashal, and before that we were in Syria. The guy would actually go fabricated. Apparently, I would scare people away. And this is a kind of person who would not get hired. So when I would go home, my parents would ask me, you know, how was your interview? And I would say, but it went amazing, I nailed it. They asked me questions and I went on speech with the judge, and I would say, and I was like nailing it, I'm getting this job. This is the kind of person which you should not be. The third kind of person that I have collected with my hardcore research is I have named it Halloween. For explaining this time, I'll have to tell you a real incident. There was a big job fair in a huge company of government and oil related in Abu Dhabi. And all of the people from my university went out there because we were engineers and programmers. And we went for an interview of line for different positions. There were around 60 positions open at that time. Now when I went for this interview, I was hearing one thing again and again from all the elders. Be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Nobody specifically told me what do you mean by it and I thought to take up my favorite color by being myself. So on the day of the interview, where everybody was grey, black and white, bored up, you know, serious looks, I ended up wearing a nice long frock, orange color. I flopped my way all over to the interview, walking up to one desk to another desk and to the third desk. Somehow I was not called in for further interviews inside, but I was very positive because I was being myself. Now, my friend, my classmate, got recruited over there and she came in after around the month and she said, you know what, Iram? There was a big buzz going on once we were hired and we were in training. There was somebody who actually came in and said yes to everything. Then that person went around speaking for 10 minutes when she was asked one question. Moreover, this woman was dressed up like a Halloween pumpkin. Did you see anybody like that? No. Who dresses like a Halloween pumpkin on an interview day? TT. So apparently fellow Toastmasters and guests. What I have gathered up is that it is nice to do good interviews and do your best, but you have something that you have to take.
take care of in the society. Today, I'm an entrepreneur and I have done more than 350 interviews. What I give back to people is that when they come for an interview to me, I make sure that I give them one honest feedback that why am I not hiding you? If I had that kind of all transparency and guide from those 28 people who had a laugh and probably did a research on me and would use this further, I would have got a job much earlier and a guide much earlier. But today I'm very happy that I know exactly why and what not to do when you go for interviews. And I can tell people and recognize them through me that these are the mistakes that I did. So today when you go back, and if ever, inshallah, whenever you're in managerial positions, make sure you give back an honest advice to that person when he's leaving, that why am I not going to hire you? Just so that they don't keep on being a yes woman, yes man, a bulldozer, or a Halloween. By the way, the tip to do well in an interview is that make sure that the interviewer doesn't hate you for the first one minute. Over to you.